Needing positivity all around you Made me life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they wanna tear me down? Cancers, my cancers Wish popping water babies Did you miss me? Because <laughs> I miss your ass. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, you guys. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards saying. Oh, but I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist your ass without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, okay? Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, you guys, the donations, the reading requests, you guys, the text messages to see if I was okay. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. You guys are so my fucking babies, okay? Also, this will be a general message. It ain't a personal reading, so certain things will not resonate for every damn body. Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try and put it on. Yeah, it's gonna fall, okay? You guys, thanks in advance for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, all of that. All right, if this is your, your first time subscriber to the family, honey, your first time you're welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, however, we leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. <laughs> we share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve. One positive vibe, one po one posy family, okay? One big happy family, posy vibes only. Positive type things, okay? Also, if you need a personal reading, I'll have to see where the fuck I was. Okay? How about that? I forgot my shit. Alright? If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description box below. Without further ado, we're going to jump right in uh, for the zodiac sign of Cancers, my Cancers. Cancer, Summer Rising Venus, Cross Watches, Mercury, Mars, and the North Node. Alright? So let's get into it. Cancer, off the rip, your channel message for the month of um, September, Cancer, keep going. And hell yeah, they're all watching, okay? You don't have to worry about what he said, she said, what the hell the, the crew was doing. If they loving the crew, if they loving on you or not. Nah. Shine, Cancer. Shine. I did pick up on, um, I got a channel, um, the channel song that I got for you all was Kelly Rowland, um, Go Lover. Touch it there, slow it down. Hey, go longer. You can last more rounds. Push harder. You're almost there now. So go, lover. Make mama proud. And when we're done. Okay, so Cancer, I feel like either you're motivating another person or someone feels as if you're their reason, okay? I'm definitely picking up on a lot of fiery energy as well as a lot of water energy, all right? I'm also picking up on the energy of someone feeling, how dare you, Cancer? How dare you be fucking great after I set up all of those damn booby traps for you to fall on your face? How dare you? Huh? Huh? I need to get that belt. I need to get the belt for this motherfucker, Cancer, and strangle them with it. Tag me in, because y'all know y'all the nice guys. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Honey, no, we don't fucking play with my water babies. All right? And also, Cancer, be very careful signing contractual agreements or contractual deals during this time. I am picking up on the energy of restrictions being lifted from you guys, but there's also this energy of take your time, okay? Really take your time and go with the flows of things because I strongly feel like for some of you all, this could also be um, someone just trying to force you into making some type of collaboration or some type of agreement around or some type of decision. Um, they want you to agree to a partnership because you have all of the resources that they lack, okay? Um, and for some of you all, this is a good thing. It's an opportunity that's going to open up um, a lot of networking for you. But for some of you all, this is someone wanting to come in, give you absolutely fucking nothing but the damn runaround. Whoever this is, they're very charming, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy. This could be family and friends. This could also be some sort of reconciliation. I'm picking up on someone 
ultimately wanting you to do all of the fucking work, but they want to reap the benefits from it. So be weary of that, okay? I feel like this could have been the energy that you guys could have been coming into um, the latter half of October into November, okay? But I do feel this uh, this need to tell you guys to be weary of that, okay? Be very uh, discerning of that, I'll say, all right? So this was the channel messages that I actually picked up on you guys' meditative session. I got crown chakra, front row seats, ancestral protection, purpose, soul ties, contracts, distractions, authenticity, spiritual teacher, heart chakra, diet change, throat chakra, self-sacrificing, career transitions, Akashic records, business expansion, logos, collaborations, closure, manipulation, family interference, false promises, mediumship, get rich quick schemes, online workshops, support system, portals, new home, open doors, pride, conjuring, moon magic, unexpected finances, okay? Let me see if I missed anything. Y'all, because my eyes is bad, bad, honey. Oh, I don't know if I said distractions, but I did pick up on distractions. I'm also feeling to say paranoia and psychic attacks for you all. And I feel like this could have to do with projected energy or someone projecting their paranoia towards you being great. Someone fears your success, Cancer. Someone feels and someone in the past could have felt entitled to your damn come up or your blessing. But I feel like because this has to do this has to do with something that you build or you create with your hands or from scratch. And I feel like a lot of people were naysayers, but now they're actually seeing the flourishing aspect of your business. Some of you all this have to do with expansion. Someone set up a booby trap or someone needed you to need them and it didn't and it that did not work in their favor, okay? Some of you all could also be having an issue with speaking up. Or there's a need for you to speak up for yourself, especially when it comes to your spiritual beliefs. This could have to do with a father figure or a mother figure. For some of you all, I'm also picking up on someone staying in an unhappy marriage out of the perception, of, like out of what other people feel like they should be doing. I'm picking up on something around the matriarchal figure. This have to do with your this could have to do with like your mother's side of the family. There could also be a secret that's being kept from you, Cancer, that involves your mother's side of the family or some type of cycle around abandonment or something like abandonment of the patriarch, of the patri patriarchal system. So this could be some type of family generation or a generational thing where the father is absent or there could be like third party baby situation. Some of you guys could be finding yourself in that situation now. There's a lot of beating up your, beating up on yourself. And Spirit is saying, sees there's a blessing in this lesson. For some of you all, this is happening to become a catalyst to your awakening. Okay? A lot of crown chakra. And there's a lot of nervousness. Cancer, I was just fine on my grooving. Smooth fucking grooving. I got on y'all shit and got the shaking and shit. Some of you all also could be coming up with some type of um, holistic remedies uh, when it comes to healing. This could also have to do with doing like some type of spell work. So this could be spell casting on individuals to assist them with their health using moon magic or some type of like... Um, I'm also picking up on sigils. Some of you guys could be interested in sigils or getting to know different different type of uh, ancient sigils or sigils that's good for protection and manifestation of finances, okay? Or there's a need to, all right? So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to get a crystal oracle message. A crystal oracle. Um, Y'all hate when my Mercury got me fucked up, okay? That was the fucking delay. Mercury, because it wasn't finna have me come up here. I'll, the bleep, 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 bleep. That's all, folks. Y'all bear with me. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Fuck. Okay. This is the crystal uh, crystal wisdom healing oracle. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a, a crystal message. Or crystal that will be beneficial for my cancers. For the month of November. Okay. And you guys. I didn't intend on doing a readers like this. I'm going to switch them up. But I wanted to be fair and make sure that everybody got their readers. So this actually extended that process. Extended it out into November. Alright. So spirit. Let's just see you have for my cancers. Crystal Oracle message. What crystal will be useful for my cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, Mercury, Mars. Ooh, for the month of November. All right, you guys got Malachi. Malachi, you know how I give it up, you guys, on these damn crystal healing, these oracle messages. 
We don't chop and screw them. We read them as is. We ain't trying to fuck up nothing. Nothing. Okay? I literally just heard R.I.P. Some of you guys intuitively feel that someone's getting ready to um, cross over to the other side. This wouldn't be a surprise for some of you all. This could literally be something or someone that's sick or finding out that the level of their sick is deeper than what they thought. I feel like someone's catching something at the last minute. And my condolences to you because some of you all I'm feeling that you're dealing with this now. And I don't want to cry, counsel. Y'all got me all sad. This just made me sad. But I'm feeling the need to let you know that your ancestors are with you. This could definitely be if it's feminine. So this could be a sister, a mother, a cousin. Someone's going through something with their health. I'm picking up something with the with the breast and the throat. For some, okay? You guys got Malachite. Number five. Five brings change. The subconscious mind. Malachite brings to light ingrained programming and toxic beliefs. An amulet against pain, this is a powerful stone for emotional transformation. It stimulates the survival instinct. For a self-understanding, unconscious programs or beliefs cause psychosomatic, psychosomatic disease. Go willingly into the depths. Therapy may be needed. Your deepest fears become your greatest gifts as hidden abilities come to light. Go where angels fear to tread to bring back insights for your own healing and that of others. For divination, explore your depths. Danger threatens. Not all is as it seems. Stand firm in your power and have no fear. You survive. Protect yourself against unseen forces or powerful minds that manipulate you. Learn your psychic protection. Take a course to call up past life skills. Spread your wings. Do not become embroiled with a charismatic man. Hmm. I'm going to read that again. Spread your wings. Do not become embroiled with the, char with the charismatic man. For healing insight, detoxifying your mind, body, and emotions, and recognizing deep psychosomatic causes of disease are a path to well-being. The frequency, the frequency of this stone is earthy to high. It's good for the heart, base, sacral, and solar plexus. Good for Scorpios as well. And it's for those with the soul path of transforming your subconscious mind, okay? So there's a lot of activity within your dream space. I did pick up on um, some type of dream uh, revelations revelations with, uh, happening within your dreams. This could also be warning signs. I feel like your ancestors are warning you through your dream spaces or warning you of things to come. Some of you all are also mediums, okay? There's an energy of 3 to 5, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, some of you guys could be experiencing insomnia. There's a lot of um, a lot of activity around the crown chakra. Some of you guys could be having a lot of headaches, okay? I'm picking up on uh, some of you all there's a need for you all to drink cinnamon. I'm picking up on cinnamon. Cinnamon. For others of you, mint. Peppermint, okay? Uh, this could also be some type of holistic care. Some of you all could also be making face masks. I'm also picking up on someone wanting to stop or needing to stop smoking. It's something about the lungs, okay? Someone could be finding out something with their lungs. Someone smoked too damn much. Now, I ain't saying don't do what you do because y'all know I goes on my fucking sativa breaks. But it ain't what you do. It's how you do it. All right. So, Cancer, Spirit, give me a pull of tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, Mercury, and Mars for the month of November? Some of you guys could be wanting to learn astrology. I'm also picking up on a lot of manipulation, Cancer. Some, some of you guys got people coming back to play on your compassion. Some of you all also could have told someone that something was going to occur. Like, someone, some of you guys could have tried to help someone. But they may feel as if what you do or what you believe in is the devil's work. And I feel like now this person wants to be all of They want to lick your ass to get the help that they need. I feel like use your discernment with this. Because some of you guys got energy vampires coming out the damn woodworks. And I feel like it's only a distraction towards your purpose. Someone's only purpose is to block your purpose. And I feel like you guys are getting... You guys are seeing things a lot more clearly. You're also learning to trust yourself a whole lot more. People will be confirming what you already know. Take your time on making decisions, cancel. Alright. Yes, I'm rising. Venus. Cross watch. Okay. There you go, Cancer. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. I feel like some of you guys have been patiently waiting for somebody to get their shit together. For someone to see your work. This could also have to do with a company, alright? Some of you guys also. Someone is in love with somebody. 
so much to the point that they're afraid to see this person like walk away for some and for others of you they're, they're afraid to see or to feel like this person is playing them some of y'all intuitively feel that you could be dealing with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius you could also be dealing with another water sign someone also is not sure if okay this could be you cancer I'm seeing you or another water sign wants to return to you this could have to do with an Aries Leo Sagittarius strong Aries vibes this could also have to do with the divine feminine and the divine masculine I feel like someone wants to un someone wishes to undo their mistakes or wishes to undo something that occurred in the past this could also have to do with a friendship as well like someone wants to work with you or someone wants to be in your energy or they want access to your energy but this person doesn't want to see the wrong or how they've wronged you in the past okay some of y'all this could definitely have to do with the Sagittarius I feel like if you're dealing with a Sag there is going to be some type of secrets regarding deception this could have to do with some of y'all could be dealing with another water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio someone could have been trying to hide a third party situation that could have occurred with either an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius strong Aquarius vibes here or a Sagittarius or someone who has them in their chart okay I do feel like you was minding your own damn business trying to heal and here this person comes for some of you all there could also be some type of um distractions or someone who's a Capricorn that could be trying to come in and be some type of distraction somebody could have okay I'm also hearing backfiring backfiring someone's upset because they don't understand why their magic is no longer working I'm literally hearing chanting chanting okay so some of you guys could be dealing with someone who could be a voodoo priest or a priestess okay I'm also picking up on sex magic like this is backfiring someone someone tries to get your ass all caught up and now this person is obsessed but I feel like someone could even be sending multiple requests to your um to your inboxes or like your your social media streams or having multiple profiles to stalk your ass on. There's a lot of stalking ass activity here. Some of you guys, there is a... Some of y'all are obsessing over should you take this damn Sagittarius person back, this damn Capricorn back. Should you truly trust this person? I feel like some of you guys want to move towards healing in a particular dynamic, okay? This could also be where you work. Some of you guys are... You're loyal to a foe, but I feel like some of you guys are realizing that you've been a slave to your loyalty. And I feel that you're choosing to be loyal to your damn self. And I feel like there's a sense of guilt, like, what is the other person going to do? Should I choose to leave, all right? I feel like some of you guys have a lot of weight on your shoulders. If there is someone in your energy that feels as if they have a lot of weight on their shoulders, this could be an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, or some of you all are needing to set boundaries with an earth sign. I feel like someone makes you be responsible for or make you have to show up for yourself. Someone could have also been looking for it, like looking, looking for you to fail. Someone wants to catch you at your lowest moments or catch you at your weakest moment. Someone also know your damn fate better than you do. Someone here could have been getting readings on you, Cancer. Some of you guys could find out that someone has been getting readings on you. For others of you, be very, very attentive. Pay very close attention to your dreams if you have to create you some type of a dream journal. Because I feel like there's some type of rep repetitive, repetitive information that's coming to you in your dreams. This could even involve a child, okay? If you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio... Or an Aries individual. I feel like someone could have started something new. Or someone wants to start something new. But someone's afraid of getting hurt. This, there could definitely be a third party situation happening between fire, air, and water. Okay? I strongly feel like if this could even be someone trying to come in and pull the damn uh, Houdini on your fucking partner. Okay? I feel like someone's not wanting to accept what's happening. Someone's not wanting to accept reality. I also feel the truth about some type of manipulation having to do with paperwork coming out. Someone could be wanting to take you or you wanted to take someone else to small claims court. Okay? I'm picking up on the energy of someone wanting to come in. Like someone knows how to make a small offer sound like, ha. And this is definitely a reconciliation. Some of you guys, I see you reconnecting with with the individual in the month of November simply to take your power back and finally bring a sense of closure to a cycle where there could have been a lot of narcissistic acts, like a lot of narcissistic ass behavior. People ghosting motherfuckers. Um, somebody here not getting clarity, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy like someone... <sighs> Someone could have even found out that a family member could have been like flirting with their like flirting with their person. I'm picking up on the energy of a family member. Like some some of y'all have a family member that's attracted to your person. This individual is like always throwing like little this person is fuck shady fucking boots. Always throwing shade at your person. I feel like this individual has like a secret attra like a attraction to your person, and I feel like that's gonna be coming out. 
somebody could uh, get get fucked up here, get drunk. I'm also hearing pop pills. Someone in your energy, this person could pop pills, but someone could get drunk and really, really, really show their ass when it comes to coming on to your person. I feel like don't beat their ass, cancer, okay? Because I feel like spirit has strongly been trying to give you warning signs. Some of y'all got a Taurus in your energy. Some of y'all could be finding out that the Taurus could have left you or ghosted you to go back to a family situation that didn't work out. This person is coming back due to the to due to the want of stability. Now if you're dealing with a new individual who could be a Taurus, this person or is they don't have to be a Taurus. I feel like some of you guys are walking away from and you have to choose from a person and you have to choose from an individual in your past who you wanted a long term commitment with and someone who you have a new foundation that's being built. I feel like someone here also, there could also be the blending of like, like some, some of y'all could be coming, blah, moving into some type of partnership with your partner here. Others of you could have recently gotten a relationship with someone possibly in the summertime and you could be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations, my beloved kids. And, okay. I'm also picking up on the energy. Uh, yeah. Someone doesn't want to accept the fact that it's over. I feel like some y'all, some y'all could definitely be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I feel like someone here want, like someone sees their errors. They see the error of their ways. They see you now, Cancer. It's up to you if you want to take this person back. To me, this person is coming through as a page. I can't tell you what to do, but someone wants to keep you, or they want you to wait while they have to while they end some type of dynamic or end the situation here and i feel like the advice here is to take your big ass cup baby run for the fucking heels put your put your best pad nikes on bitch and run okay run okay run honey because i strongly feel like some of you guys are really wanting something new some of you guys could also be um choosing to be celibate during this time I'm also picking up on the energy of someone needing to make a decision on should they leave their job. Like you guys are truly choosing fulfillment in the month of November. I feel like you guys can have whatever it is that you want, but you want you're gonna have to sacrifice things that are not in alignment with where you're trying to go. Some of y'all have an online boutique that you're trying to get off the ground. Some of y'all could be selling eyelashes. I'm even picking up on the energy of someone here who could be make some type of crystal jewelry okay or someone a bit nervous to take a major leap of faith but it has to do with their destiny get very in tune with your north and south nodes during this time because for some of you all you're being aligned and being placed in the position and this has definitely has to do with a lot of divine intervention a lot of uh, the divine interference if something is falling away it's because you guys have blessings coming first off a big ass boss up some of you all are actually um starting your businesses you're going into entrepreneurship you choosing to trust your craft trust your gift and believe in your ass believe in yourself like you believe in waking up every fucking morning this is a part of your destiny and i feel like things people places and things will be trying to project a lot of their negative energy their negative belief patterns but i feel like you guys are innovators your bosses especially if you have double cardinal in your signs like if you are a fucking um Cancer, cancer with the Capricorn rising, or cancer with an Aries rising, okay, or cancer with Libra in your chart. I feel like you guys are being, you guys are being ascended by the heavens, and I feel like whether they like it or not, everybody ain't gonna like the boss, but it doesn't take away from the fact that they are the motherfucking boss. A lot of you all are actually branching out and starting new relationships, and I feel like there's a need for you not to be afraid. Where you once was is not where you're going, okay. I feel like you guys are needing to open up and trust, but definitely use your discernment, especially in, especially revolving around any type of reconciliation, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys, some of y'all, there's a Sagittarius that's planning on coming towards you. I feel like this person has to take care of something with an Aries or a Taurus individual first that could involve a child, okay? So let me give you some advice. Some of you guys, are you waiting on your divine masculine? He is ass go, honey. He goes zaddy, alright? And his zaddy come, okay? Some of you guys also could be purchasing a new car or someone could be offering to help you with getting a car or a vehicle. Alright, advice for cancer. Advice. Moment to moment, don't worry so much about the future. What can go bad? Focus on being grateful for the things that you have and that you're able to build and that you're able to really learn and the blessings that's being bestowed upon you in the now. I feel like there's a lot of worries about the future. But Spirit is saying, look around you. What are you lacking? You have everything that you need in order for you to be your greatest, the greatest version of yourself. I feel like there's this sense of intensity. Yeah, things are going to be coming. Things are going to be happening very fast. I feel like the energy of this month is going to be extremely intense. But things that are happening, you guys are really focusing on 
if you're going to be in a situation or where you're going to be in the future or how things are going to work out in the future and spirit is saying listen find harmony within your head and your heart I feel like especially when it comes trust or, or, or some of you all are needing to make a heart over head decision when it comes to letting someone in but being using using pretty much making a head over heart decision when it comes to just being realistic about what's in alignment with where you want to go you can't expect for everybody to be honest but you can damn sure expect that honesty from yourself when somebody looking and when they ain't i do feel like someone's moral code here is being tested in the month of november especially if you're in a long-term relationship you're being called to choose fulfillment and not worry about what's there to lose or what can go wrong your faith is being tested here as well some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a gemini okay now, this could have to do with a love relationship but i feel like there's a coming together okay some of you guys definitely could be seeing five 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 ten ten four 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 and three 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 you're protected this level of expansion this space of um of evolution this space of ascension for you is uh, is protected your path is protected there's a need for some of y'all to stop worrying about that little raggedy ass bitch that's attached to your divine feminine I mean, or your divine masculine doing magic on you it will not prosper honey but you will if you stop giving their magic power and be more faithful in your abilities to innovate to cultivate to flourish to be successful in the now because you're creating that for your future the winning is already destined now it's time for you to move plot plan strategize and execute movement okay some of you all you're in your damn head about it but you're gonna get out of you're gonna get out of that space I feel like there's a, there's a need for you to have a little bit more confidence in yourself and what it is that you bring to the table. Some of you all need to love on yourself a whole lot more in the month of November. And I definitely see whatever is falling away or whatever has fallen away in the latter half of October. Friends, family, whatever type of fucking ship in your life that was taking you not to where the fuck you wanted to go. Allow things, surrender your needs to control and know all of the answers because it is literally a lesson that is setting you up for the biggest blessing of your life. You just got to trust that. Okay? So you guys, I pray that this resonates. You guys, let me know in the comment section how this resonates. If you need a personal reading, um, definitely that information can be found within the description. I am recording Pisces and Scorpio after that. So if it's not there immediately, give me a little second. But I love y'all. See you in the latter half of September. Bye, booze. I mean, November. Ooh, honey. November, honey. Bye, my cancels.